COVID-19 emergency response material. No way. No, it does. Why would they have this? This does still work. Oh, I'm not gonna lie, I am afraid of death. I feel like people are, are just bluffing when they say they're not. In case you don't know what an ICU is, it's pretty much where they would put the patients that were about to pass away. Man, I just... I don't like this room at all. Just thinking about it gives me, like, really bad vibes. My mind must be just playing tricks on me. We're here alone in the basement. Another day of adventures, but guess who decided to show up? Hey, yes, leave a comment right now. Guess who decided to show up? I'm about to show you right now. You won't believe this, but I hope he's not naked. Oh, we got explore with Josh yeah, in the house. Darkness <laughs> prevails. We're going in hard today. <laughs> yeah. I don't know what's gonna darkness happen. Darkness does prevail, man. Dude, your room is darkness right now. My room is like all light. Well, it's light versus dark, I guess. <laughs> explore with Josh in the house. So I'm excited. We're going to explore in a little bit. I'm going to be meeting up with this new guy, one of Josh's friends, and he's going to be showing us around this weekend. I don't even know what we're going to explore today. It's just completely random, and it's like a mystery box. So let's just go with the flow and see what's going to happen. Hope you guys have been doing well. If you're new around here, my name is Steve Rowan. I'm going on Epic Adventures every single week. And today we're going to be exploring this abandoned hospital. We got Hi with Zach. We also have Matt. And we have Juan ATL in the building. And exploring with Josh in the house. Right now we're exploring this abandoned acute hospital. If you don't know what that means, it's basically a small hospital that's usually found around rural towns. I mean, they would get the job done for almost anything. But if you had like a major incident, you would probably have to go to the city to get that surgery done. So yeah, the crazy thing about this place though is that everything is still left behind. There's power still on. And I know on this channel we've been uploading a lot of abandoned houses and mansions, especially from the Southern series, but we gotta switch it up, guys. I know you guys love those houses and mansions, but come on, let's build the audience for these other incredible abandoned locations. I'm starting to think that I'll probably upload something different than a house and mansion once a month. So yeah, hope you guys do enjoy this. It's really creepy. We're exploring this at night, even though there's power still on, which is absolutely amazing. It's just makes it more suspenseful. Now, a little bit of history on this place is that it opened in 1975 and closed down in 2011. Now, the reason why it closed down in 2011 was because this town, it's not even middle class. They don't really have a lot of money. It's townsfolk, you know, they don't make that much. And the patients here, you know, their bill would be like six to 10 thousands of dollars and they were unable to afford it, which affected the hospital's business. And they just couldn't maintain it and they just had to abandon the place and it's now forgotten for all these years. Probably one of what's behind me. You guys are gonna wanna stick to the very end of this video because we're gonna find a lot of machinery just like this. So yeah, hope you guys enjoy. And before the adventure begins, don't forget to smash that thumbs up button. Let's get this video to over 5,000 thumbs like, guys. And hashtag Ronin Army on the comments. All right, let's go. This doesn't lock on us, right? Okay. All right, guys. So we've kind of just split up. I don't know. It's, it's less quiet when you have two YouTubers talking to their own cameras. Josh went up to the second floor. We're going to be exploring the bottom floor first. Dude, this is spooky at night. This is one of the main entrances of the hospital. Check that out. Yeah, there's an IV. We're racing some cool stuff. This place is not empty. There's almost everything left inside. It just mind boggles me that there's power all around the building. Wow, so this was like one of the main counters, I guess. We would probably check in here, speak to a person. We got some plaques here. Diversity. I like that. Someone ripped the thing out of it. It looks like some Bibles. Hmm. I guess like, you know, people would like be religious when they're dying in their deathbeds. Yeah. This looks actually kind of cool. I mean, we're in the South. A lot of people are like uh, very religious. Yeah, that's sick. 
you still have stuff on the board right here. <laughs> you keep scaring us, Zach. <laughs> wow, guys, look at this. This hallway is just filled with power. I can even hear it. Yeah, you see, guys, I'm not really into abandoned hospitals, but this one is just really unique. Any hospital like this, I'll probably go and film. Oh, yeah, you're actually, you're right. I think it still works. I don't even want to try. What the hell is this, Spart? Oh gosh, okay, someone wrote 666 on here. Still got a bunch of stuff in the closet. Anyone need a TV? I feel like something's just right around the corner. Hmm, seems like someone's blocking this door. Oh, he's probably on no. Oh. <laughs> <laughs> all right, I kind of split up from everyone else too. I also want to just explore alone. Look at all these rooms. This one probably stored documents. We still got some of the labels on the shelf. I feel like something was written here on the ground. The first one kind of looks like it said leave. Person. This is the stuff I love when it's one of band hospitals. And this is just so rare for all these equipment to just be still here. So yeah, this was the operation room. They would have operations here. And take a look at this. They have these clocks called death clocks. I think it's the one on the left, which basically they would use this to time when the patient passed away. Pretty creepy. And the right one is a normal clock. It's still working. Man, I don't even know what half these equipment can do. But there is a manual right here for like all the machines. Even if it's operating manual. Respects to all the doctors out there in the world. Man, I don't even know where to begin. We got the tissue tech. Tissue embedding and freezing system. That sounds wild. Increment adjusting mechanism. Microtone cryostat. Yeah, you guys get the point. And from the looks of it, these are all syringes inside here. And there's a biohazard symbol. We still got some floppy disk. Not like we even use them anymore. I just want to show you guys one of the bathrooms. Look at all the paint just chipping. Man, that gives a really spooky feel. So it looks like we're entering another operation room. Just by the looks of it, I can tell there could be one here in this wing. Look at all the patient beds without the mattresses. Limit one visitor per patient. All others, please wait in main lobby. Oh my gosh. You got some more biohazard syringes in here that were in use. Oh, okay. The last operation room we explored I didn't even take a photo in it because there was no lighting. But this one, this entire room is filled with light. This will be perfect for a photo. Only thing is that this room doesn't really have all the tools left behind. It would've been cool if the first room had light. But man, this thing looks wild. It's literally a robot if you think about it. Okay, that doesn't work. Yeah, this the light switch turns off and on here. Is that a thermostat? No way. This probably doesn't even work. Can we put the AC on? That'd be pretty nuts. Here's another operation room just right next to it. Oh, this one's sick. 
Look at that pumpkin head too. I wonder if this has been here for all these years or if someone put it here. I'm starting to wonder if we can actually turn on the lights on these machines. I believe this was the switch to turn the lights on for light number one, light number two, and change the brightness level right here. Look at this. So this is a new needle. I hate needles, but yeah, we're safe with this one. I'm actually sleep here. This is actually really comfy. All right, this is when the machine starts doing stuff on its own and like the wires attached to my body. myself again but here's the weird thing I can hear something up ahead hello is, is that one of you guys damn everything is just left here oh wow look at that hello do I feel like maybe an animal could be in here hello Yo, what the f***? <laughs> Yo, bro. <laughs> Dude, you scared me. What the f***? <laughs> Yo, what the hell is that? Man, I don't know. It has a mask on, though. Dude, I'm glad you're here because I actually saw something, like, down this hallway. <laughs> really? I'm being dead ass. Dude, come with me. All right, I'm going to leave this in there. Bro. Yeah, yeah, come here. Not one of our homies. <laughs> Should we turn on the light? <laughs> Wait, what the f Oh, bro. bro. <laughs> is that, is that <laughs> back over there? Wait, Come over here. There's at least someone in that hallway. Oh my god, dude. You were legit there for like forever. <laughs> First you scared me now and then he scared me. He's way too comfortable. Jeez. Alright. I'm I'm splitting up with you guys again. <laughs> Alright, I'm checking this room again. Because this is just filled with just random stuff. It's like these decorations all left in here. Why would you keep this in a band hospital? Or, I guess it makes sense, but that would still freak me out if I was a patient here. So this was another operation room, and I guess they turned it into a storage. This doll is creepy. Got another skeleton. Seems like there's a bunch of them right here. No way, air hockey. I bet this thing works perfect still. We got some canopies. Yo, since those guys scared me, I wonder if I can scare them. <laughs> hey, it didn't work, bro. It didn't work. Bro, I thought you guys were scaring me at one point. I swore. Really? I heard you guys in a room. So I was waiting for you guys to come out, and you guys wouldn't. And I, I did Actually, the they there. scared me at one point. Did they? Dude, we yeah. scared you like three times already. I know. What the frick? <laughs> Wait, yo, you got a worm on you. I do? Where? Literally a worm. Oh, no. Oh, there is. There is a worm. Help me out, guys. It's about to go inside your ear. Uh oh, that's a weird that. looking worm, yo. Yo, Quan, get it out, yo, bro. That's an alien worm, bro. Why do I gotta touch it? Yo, Quan. <laughs> <laughs> Come on, you got this. <laughs> no, don't flick it, don't flick it. Oh, man. R.I.P. <laughs> Rip, this guys. R.I.P. for that little worm guy. Okay, yeah. All right, guys, so there's a crazy rumor here where a patient passed away in the bedroom and her picture, her photo, is still in the room. Okay, so guys, this was the patient room where the patient passed away and apparently her photo is not here. 
You can still see her belongings, like her clothes left behind. Are these pills? Yeah, these are pills. Virtual dementia. This is for dementia, probably. We're all here together for this one room. But this room has a bunch of these boxes that have like the biohazard symbol on it. So I think these are these are stuff we can't really touch. Or open. Resident Evil, bro. Yeah, Resident Evil stuff. See, even says hazardous division, medical bio waste solutions. They're everywhere. There's hundreds of boxes all around. What what could they be keeping in here? And there's more here. There's so many. Oh, what? The whole gang's in here now. Face shields? Yeah. Oh, damn. I could use one of those for COVID. No way. No, it does. Oh, what? And it says, please rush. Why would they have this? All just regular face masks. This has disposable gloves. Look at this. Uh, dude, they're definitely using this as like a little storage or warehouse for these face masks and like these gloves for COVID-19. The ones you need are the KN95. <laughs> No patients. If you are pregnant or suspect maybe pregnant, please advise the receptionist. Wow. I bet this really does still work. Oh, f All right, I shouldn't touch anything here. <laughs> Dang, okay. So that's the move it up and down. When I press this button right here, this is, I'm guessing, to rotate it. Whoa. What's this? To like move it. Oh my gosh, okay. This is actually pretty fun to do. But man, like, you can see the little tubes, like, all chipped and cracked. That's so cool. So right here in this corner, you have other controls. And I think this is the printer to print out the x-rays. But also, you can see here, these are some things the doctor kind of write down for their patients but I don't see anything written on there maybe on here yeah you see you write the position centimeters and all these measurements and I guess these were all the positions you would tell the patients to do depending on what they need to get checked on and you even have a written letter right here that shows this patient's information and I guess, you know, this computer right here, you'd be able to print out an x-ray through it. I think it would even come from these black little boards. Moving forward though, whoa, what the heck? Okay, this is just laying on the ground over here. This is freaky, especially since I'm all alone. Imagine if this just starts moving. It has a pumpkin for a head, what the frick? That is freaky. I have a feeling though that this was probably a prop because on the x-ray machine bed you can see a lot of wooden stuff and hay material so they probably used it as a prop and laid it down here. I'm not gonna lie, it smells really bad in here. I'm not sure what it could be, but I'm seeing biohazard stickers. Maybe I should be careful when I'm breathing in. made it to one of the entrances. It's one of the corners. Is that a washing machine? I guess the room we were just in was the laboratory. And this is where you would check in to someone. I don't really know where to head next. I mean, we've been to the laboratory, we've been to the x-ray machine, outpatient surgery. I guess we've never been to the dining facility. Yeah, or the emergency rooms. So I guess we should just Head straight down. The ICU is even up there. Right, so this is the dining room. So I guess this was there'd be tables and seats here for people to eat. 
is a strange looking door. I guess it leads to the kitchen. <laughs> no evidence. What? That's legit. Alright guys, we're gonna go up to the second floor. I believe this is where the ICU is. Really creepy hallway in here too. Alright guys, so I finally found the ICU. In case you don't know what an ICU is, it's pretty much where they would put the patients that were about to pass away. They were like on the verge of death here. There's the sign. So our buddies, Howard, Zach, and Alex, they've been in this hospital before and they actually camped out here. They slept in this room. <laughs> There's the pillows that they used. I guess they uh, slept on the chairs. They even have the jug of water here from before. And props to them. That must have been really spooky to just sleep here. I feel like a place like this is definitely haunted. You know, who knows how many patients have passed away just in this very hospital. I mean, the ICU is just right on this floor too. Down this floor are a bunch of patient rooms. Here's one of them. And here's another one. And here's another one from across the room. Pretty much the same thing. It's almost like a hotel. You even have like a bathroom here with your own toilet and shower. Here we go. Man, this is just so creepy thinking about it, you know? People on the verge of death just right in here. If you think about it, every one of us, probably like 80% or more, are gonna experience being in a hospital room just like this before we pass away. Which just scares me. I'm not gonna lie, I am afraid of death. I feel like people are, are just bluffing when they say they're not. I just love life so much that I want to experience as much as possible and I kind of want to live a very long time. Wow, look at that. So you would have these sensors right on you and that's the screen that you see in the movies with the heart rate going up and down. And if the person dies, it just goes flat. Man, that's really bizarre to look at. It's crazy to me too because it's only the people who are about to pass away in these rooms. So for me to see this in person is, is kind of rare. Man, I just... I don't like this room at all. Just thinking about it gives me like... really bad vibes. Here's another room. Room 203. This one doesn't have the bed, but still the same thing. This one is a big ICU room. And I have a feeling that this part of the wing, they would have the patients rest here. These are probably patient rooms. But let's check this office. <laughs> Guess I'm on Urbex tags. Mm, not much in here. I mean, I found some paperwork. This camera at one point had some fluids in it. This one says IV fluids. But it's all empty. I guess these closets were filled with antibiotics. But yeah, they must have taken those all out. Alright guys, we're done with the second floor. The last floor we have to do is the basement. So we're gonna head there now. I've seen photos of this hospital containing human fluids and vials. And if there's anything here, that has human remains, it's probably down in the basement. And it's like a huge storage in here. Look at this, we even have all the books. They probably put them all down here. Just went to a corner 
in the hallway. And look at this room. It's just filled with like Christmas decorations. I'm not gonna lie, that's the creepiest Santa Claus I've ever seen. <laughs> this is so scary. And that's another creepy Santa. <laughs> My mind must be just playing tricks on me. And we're here alone in the basement. That's about it. Dang, you got a Christmas tree here. But as I'm legit walking out of this room, I see this contraption. And there's like some red things in the tubes. What do you think that could be? Could it be blood? The TV? Is there anything in here? Nope, but that'd be a pretty good hiding spot. All right, this is really creepy. Honestly, I feel like I've seen these in my nightmares. You know, you just walk in a room with a bunch of tools. Kind of reminds me of like something out of the Texas Chainsaw Massacre. That coat is freaking me out. Shout out to Little Nightmares. Kind of reminds me of it. Reminds me of, what's her name? Six? Yeah, six. This room is like the cleanest room in here. I'm starting to think if maybe it's kind of in use. Continuing on. Huh. I've never seen that before. Would someone just stand on top of this? Actually, this is probably separate. Someone just put that on top of it there. It's like a little toilet. Why do I hear alarms? I hear something beeping. Okay, it's so creepy down here. Terminated files. I bet they put all the patient files in here. Whoa, look at this. They have jugs of water. This is perfect for a zombie apocalypse. You can set a fort down here. We got water for days. I look over here and there's even more. Dang, I bet this water's not even expired. Can water even expire? I think it can, but it takes like years. So this is probably still good. Electric wheelchair. Whatever's beeping is beeping in here. Turning on. I'm not sure. They're just all records. 2014 resident files. Resident records is what I'm seeing on the boxes. Alright, I'm creeped up by the alarm. I think I'm gonna start heading upstairs. I just made it to the kitchen. I think I got everything too. Did you everything. find anything with like fluids inside? No. So I look, bro, I just looked out through this whole place. So check this out. I just found a map of the place. You are here. So let's check out the list. We've been through those rooms down there. 
We've been to pretty much every room. Thank you so much for making it to the end of the video. Hope you guys really did enjoy it. What a time capsule that abandoned hospital was. And it was quite spooky. We just got done. We're packed and ready to go home. This place was so far of a distance. If you did enjoy it, don't forget to subscribe and hit the notification button bell. Leave your comments down below and share the video, guys. Let me know down in the comments your thoughts about the place. I would love to hear them and I'll be replying back to y'all. But yeah, these adventures will not stop and hitting up a bunch of crazy places. So stay tuned for more, guys. And don't forget to live a life of freedom and wonder. I'll see y'all next time. Peace. We got Kwan. Don't forget to check out the gang, guys. These guys are yeah. knocked out. Yo, well, Zach was just sleeping, but now he's awake. And of course, Josh. Links down in the description below.